tonight at 10 and 11. A state judge has ruled against a Sardinia landowner who's been battling national fuel over a massive natural gas pipeline project. That court ruling says she's now forced to allow national fuel to access her land to build that pipeline if the project is ever approved. As Channel 2's Jeff Preval tells us, this is a very personal issue for landowners in this fight. For well over a year, National Fuel has been gobbling up land across western New York in hopes of one day building the Northern Access Pipeline, a 97-mile project running natural gas from northern Pennsylvania through the southern tier up to Niagara County. National Fuel wants to run the pipeline through a portion of Leah Oprea Sardinia property. She refused to sign an agreement with the company, so last year, National Fuel, through eminent domain, took her to court. If we sign that eminent domain, that's basically signing away the creek for us, Cataraugus Creek, and it's a water issue for us. And now the state judge who heard the case has ruled that National Fuel has the right to access Oprea's land, writing that National Fuel has complied with the procedural requirements of New York State eminent domain procedure law. But National Fuel cannot build the pipeline right now. The state DEC last year denied permits for the project because of environmental concerns. I spoke to Oprea's attorney by phone. The order uh, was somewhat surprising in that the appellate division in another case, the Shuckler case, we call it, uh, was um, decided uh, exactly opposite to what the judge's order indicates. The appellate division ruled a corporation cannot take away privately owned land when a project cannot be lawfully built. My recommendation is to appeal. We would hope that the appellate division follows its recent decision. He says while National Fuel has won this round, there's still a long way to go. The story is just in sort of the middle of the book, not the end. And Leo Preo, that Sardinia landowner, says that she does plan to appeal the judge's decision. Now, National Fuel calls the ruling another step in the right direction and expects to build the pipeline in 2022. National Fuel says that more than 500 property owners have signed agreements allowing the pipeline to be built on their land, but the company is not saying how much it's paid these landowners, calling that information proprietary.